Hi, I'm Becky Stern, and today I'm going to show you how to build the Chumby Guts Kit from the Maker Shed. parts that come with the Chumby Guts kit. I took them all out of the bags and grouped the screws by which part they go to. It can be a little confusing in the instructions as to which screws you're supposed to use, so that's what this video will help you with. First, take the gasket for the LCD and attach it very carefully to the inside of the frame here. And then, take the LCD screen and insert it on top of the gasket. This spot for the microphone down here is uh, towards the bottom of the screen. Then I take this aluminum frame and screw it down to the back of the LCD with the small silver screws. Next, slide the motherboard underneath the heat sink portion of the aluminum frame and get the microphone down into the little microphone hole. Now attach the LCD with this ribbon cable very carefully into the connector. Next, attach this ribbon cable. It's called the chumbilical cord. It's the connector between the USB power sound uh, board and the motherboard. And you can connect it either way. Next, attach the Wi-Fi dongle to the riser board. It's just a USB plug. Next, insert this four pin flex connector with the shiny little tabs into the motherboard. You can tell which way it goes because one side of the connector has uh, silvery contacts on it and those should line up with the silvery contacts on one side of the flex connector. Next it's time to take the Wi-Fi riser cord and slide it over everything else but then you have to carefully connect the flex connector on the underside of the Wi-Fi riser board. Now that the two boards are connected, one will settle nicely on top of the other one. Now it's time to use these plastic standoffs and the three long black screws to attach all of the boards to the front screen bezel. It can be tricky to sandwich all three layers successfully, so just be careful to line up all of your boards. Next, it's time to move on to the speaker assembly, which comes with this plastic frame and these two speakers, which you can see have a screw hole here and a screw hole there. So you can attach them with these small black screws. The only soldering that's required for the assembly of the Chumby Guts kit is to solder this two wired connector to the switch on these tabs right here. Next, attach the bending switch to the other plastic piece that it mounts to with these big black screws. The 
polarity of the switch doesn't matter, so it doesn't matter which way you soldered it, just plug it into the board right here where it says P22 bending unit. The daughter board goes right here between the two speakers, and the speakers plug in where it says left and right. The switch assembly seats itself nicely on top of the daughter board and can be attached to the plastic speaker piece with screws here. The daughter board attaches to the sound bracket with a screw here and here. All that's left to do now is connect the motherboard and screen to the daughter board and sound module, and that's done with this chumbilical cord plugs right into the back of the daughter board. And that's it. Next, you can configure it however you want and uh, build your own enclosure. If you build your own enclosure, make sure to upload your photos to the Make Flickr pool.